Hey guys, so I know I'm posting another video again. You might be tired of me posting, but I had to share with you, I got my birthday present that my parents sent me yesterday. And okay, I am such a nerd for the things that I want on my wish list. so call me what you want. But I was, needless to say, very, very happy and excited about it. So I got the Sailor Moon Season 3 Part 1 box set, the limited edition, and I am so excited. I actually really, really love the third season. I just, I don't know, I've always liked it more than the others, I feel like. I just, I don't know, maybe because it's more dark in my opinion. But I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to show you guys everything with this one. But you can see how beautiful that box is. It's made from a chipboard, I believe is what it's called. But it's really nice, thick stock that they've used for it. Um, and you can kind of see like a rainbow hint when the light hits it. But it is so gorgeous. And there is the side. And I love how they're keeping with the brooches. Like with each season box set, it's changing with that. And there is the back. And I love this brooch. I think it's so cute. It's one of my favorite ones. And that's just the top and the bottom, if you can see that. And then there's the inside. Here is the Blu-ray of it. And it, so in the inside, it has six discs. The first three are the Blu-ray copies. So those are the Blu-ray copies. And then the last um, three that they have back here are actually just regular DVD copies of it. But the fact that they're actually re-releasing Sailor Moon in America and showing it all uncut, they're releasing all the seasons for the first time in American history, and they're also re-dubbing the whole thing, I just couldn't be excited. I'm not going to say that I'm a huge fan of who they've all picked for the new voice actors, but it might be too because I am partially more nostalgic towards the original ones in the 90s when I used to watch it after school. But regardless, it's still pretty good, and I'm just excited that they're going to have consecutive voices all the way through four seasons instead of, like, having her voice always changing through all these episodes because that was kind of super annoying. And so it's just nice to have that. And, of course, because it has the original Japanese dialogue as well, and being on Blu-ray, it's got better quality pictures. And I know some people have been complaining a lot about the quality of the episodes in the first two box sets, but I have to just be honest with you guys, okay? Okay. This is a cartoon, or sorry, an anime from the 90s, okay? Like, it was, there's there's only so much they can do to really make it an amazing image compared to what things are nowadays. So you just have to be kind of understanding with that. So regardless, I am so excited about this. It's gorgeous there on the front. There's the spine. And then there is your back part with Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus. So I am so excited about this. And of course there's this other cardboard piece in here that is actually just telling you that season three part two goes here to go in the box set. So once I get that one, I will definitely put that in there. And of course it came with a booklet and I am, I'm one of those people that I'm just obsessed with collecting booklets or art books. That's just, it's my thing because I like to draw and I, I don't know, I guess I just appreciate it from an artistic standpoint. But I just, I love this book and like the quality of the actual paper for the cover on the back. Like it's a really nice thick type of a card stock. Part of me might just be nerding out because I work at a paper company so I get really excited. I'm like, oh, feel the quality of this paper. And I, I don't know, that's just probably just me. But regardless, it's a beautiful cover. That's the back of it. And so each page in here, like it tells you kind of the hypnosis of like what's happened thus far in the story. And then you've got where it breaks down every single episode for the S series or S season. And so it's only got the first 19 episodes, I believe. Yeah, the first 19 episodes. So when I calculated that, the first 19 episode, it ends on episode 108, which is Usagi dancing to the waltz, if any of you remember that episode. So of course it leaves off starting off the second box that'll come out, or I guess the second grouping of discs where they're going to find out the identities of Uranus and Neptune, which, shocker, I bet nobody could have guessed who they looked like because, you know, it's not like they look different when they transform. Anyways, um, so it's got a hypnosis or a summary of every, uh, of every episode, but there's also some beautiful and gorgeous updated photos in here. So just so you guys can see, there's that one with her doing her new power and then Sailor Chibi Moon. And it just, I get so excited seeing such bright color 
on Sailor Moon again. It's just, it's so refreshing and I love it. Here's another one. And of course it's got the song lyrics in the back for the openings and closing songs that they feature in the season. Here's another gorgeous one. So she looks beautiful there. And then you've got page by page look at each of the Sailor Scouts and some of the other characters. There's Sailor Many Moon, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Confession, when me and my sisters played Sailor Scouts, I was always Sailor Jupiter because I have brown hair, my sister had blonde hair, and the other one had much darker hair than me, so she was Sailor Mars. And then my oldest sister with the blonde hair, she was always either Sailor Moon or Sailor Venus. So, yeah. And then we had a cat, and I wanted to name him Artemis, but he was not white. And needless to say, my parents did not want to name our cat that, so it didn't happen, sadly. And there's Sailor Uranus. And Sailor Neptune. And Sailor Pluto. Sailor Pluto is awesome. I She's one of my favorite Sailor Scouts. The smart, older, wiser one. And Sailor Saturn, oh my gosh. Okay, she is literally the most powerful Sailor Scout and I always wish that they had done more with her because I'll be honest with you guys, when they did the Sailor Star series and they had her like fighting Queen Nehalania, like at the beginning part of Stars, I was a little disappointed that her like only attack was like the silence wall thing. I was like, you can destroy a planet. Like shouldn't you have some like really cool power that could just be like, mm, goodbye Queen of Helene without destroying the world. I, I don't know. That might just be me. And there's like this chart showing like the relationship of everybody. And then this gorgeous photo. I actually used to have a big Sailor Moon poster on my wall when I was little and it had um, all, the sa all the main inner Sailor Senshi, Sailor Guardians, and it had like a rainbow prism type of like foil look on the poster and it was really really pretty and I had that thing for years but then my cat when I was away at school would jump up and he would chew on the corners of the poster so then like this whole chunk of like Sailor Moon's leg was just gone because he ate it and yeah then sadly I had to get rid of it. Here is another gorgeous photo. There's another one when she's doing her other power later in the season and another gorgeous one but the color on these photos is just fantastic the brightness and the outlining I mean everything on it I'm kind of pissed that this one right here like it literally the book is right in Sailor Moon's face so you like can't even see her and that kind of really irritates me and then of course there's the witches five and then part two is coming everyone but apparently we're gonna have to wait till the spring of next year, which I had a feeling it was gonna be a while, but I thought it was a little bit odd that this, we literally like waited a whole year for them to release this box set. And I thought it was gonna be just a few months later, just like Sailor Moon R was. And I was a little thrown off that it wasn't. But needless to say, I know they've been busy cause they dubbed Sailor Moon Crystal as well. So they've been pretty jam packed lately. So regardless, all I know is that it came out, and when the others all come out, I'm definitely going to get them. But I was so excited when I opened that package that was at my door yesterday. I was like, no, 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 my parents did not just get me this, and then I nerded out for a minute. And then my mom was like, send me a picture. I want to see you holding your little Sailor Moon next to you. So I sent her a picture of me smiling with it. And I used to, when I was little, quiz my mom on the Sailor Scouts to see if she could remember them. And she was horrible at it. And I was like, mom, it's literally planets. Just think planets. And... Regardless, good memories, good times. There's the inside of the box. It's actually like a black material in here, but it's really, really nice quality that's in there. Just so you guys can see, I do have the other seasons. So here is season one with the same beautiful type of box set, but you can see how they're keeping, like depending on the season, the theme of the brooches. And then on the side, it's got those brooches too. I just think that's so cool. And then I've got both the discs in here. And of course, the book that comes with it, that was season, the part one, and this was part two, and then that was the book that came with that one. This was the Sailor Moon R season two box set that came out, so there's that brooch, you can see that, and there's those ones. 
There's the cover for the first part, and then there is the second one. I decided to keep this um, cover, and I didn't on the other just because when I first got this one, it was just put in the box and wrapped up, and then this one came with a sleeve, but I thought it was just really pretty because, again, you can see that rainbow color, and I was like, well, it's just going to protect the disc more in this box set, so there's the cover of that one. Um, and so I just decided to keep it so that I could protect it more and not have it damaged because I, I'm so OCD. Like if there's like a little nick or anywhere like in the actual like plastic cover here, I get really upset. <laughs> and then there's the booklet for the Sailor Moon R season. So again, you've got more new and updated photos in that one. So there's just an example. But these photo booklets really are gorgeous and I absolutely love them. So that's why I personally buy these brand new box sets that are coming out and I couldn't ask for something more amazing looking for Sailor Moon because it is so near and dear to my heart. So <laughs> that was my birthday present and I am so excited and happy about it. So I'm probably going to go watch them now because I'm just, I really need to feel some nostalgic. And we actually here where I live just had our first little bit of sleet of the season. And so it hasn't started again, but I've heard it's supposed to snow more tomorrow possibly so i guess i will find out when i wake up i sure hope it doesn't quite yet i was hoping we could hold off till december but you know it is what it is we don't always get that lucky so thank you guys so much for watching i just wanted to share that with you and if you haven't seen what the box said and if you're not sure if you wanted to buy it that way you can at least get a look at it to see if it's something that might interest you so thank you guys so much for watching and i appreciate everything and your comments and your happy birthdays to me and my birthday's over, so I'm not going to keep talking about my birthday anymore, I promise. I just wanted to share that last bit of news with you. And there will be a new review posted this weekend, so keep your eye out for that. And I will see you next time.